We are going to study the assassination of Gama Pinto. It was many believe, and I'm included in that, many believe that Gama Pinto was the first person to be politically assassinated in Kenya. There could be some, but majority of us believe that he was the first one. And experts, we believe that uh, if you compare all political assassinations up to to date, you'll find that uh, Gamma Pinto's assassination was the most successful one. When KTN interviewed me concerning J.M. Karaoke's assassination, I said they did, not go, they did not do a good job. And some people blamed me for being inhuman. I will tell them this. All professionals work like bank tellers. Bank tellers can have a word of cash. To you, a word of cash is a lot of money. But to a teller, that is his, instru his or her instrument of work. He doesn't see them as money. He sees them as documents that he has to account for. So we, when we are hand just like... Uh, Doctors or medical personnel, when they handle patients, they when you put their emotions, the patients may die. So I have no regret. I talk professionally. As I said, Gamma Pinto was the first person to be assassinated in Kenya. And so far, his is the most successful assassination so far. There are various reasons why his was successful. The first reason is that Kenya being a new country, we were not yet uh, So as time goes on, even right now some of us, we take our security very seriously. But those days we used to take things for granted. So... Since uh, it's like moving into a new home, and before you know how to guard the whole place, you find some people have come to steal. But as you stay in the compound for a long time, you seal all the loopholes. The other reason that made it uh, successful was that he came from a small tribe. He came from a small tribe. You'll find that... Uh, when somebody from these big tribes, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think all political assassinations in Kenya, majority have come from Kikuyus and Luos. And you can see those are big tribes. So when somebody from a big tribe is assassinated, all politicians across the board from that tribe as, uh, assemble together. But Gamma Pinto came from a small tribe. Gamma Pinto was an Indian. Gamma Pinto was a Goan. So even Indians themselves, they were minority. And Goans were even more minority. Now, who are these Goans? Uh, when Vasco da Gama left Malindi going to India, he landed at a place called Goa. Then uh, Portuguese established a colony there. And that is why you find Indians with Portuguese name, D'Souza. Gamma Pinto had a Portuguese name. You, you may not notice it, but if I change it slightly for you, you'll notice that uh, he was called Gamma Pinto. And the Gamma name comes is, is, is a namesake of Vasco da Gama. 
So he was that way. And being from a minor tribe, it was hard to follow it up. Why was he assassinated? He was assassinated because Gamma Pinto was a socialist. He was a journalist. He was whatever. And he was Jaramogi Oginga Odinga's right hand man. He could prepare everything for Jaramogi. Notes, research, background and everything. So they felt that to cripple Jaramogi Oginga Odinga was to cripple this young man. Kill him. And that is why he... And he was so crafty. Imagine, they started a, a college where they were taking young cadres of the young youth to, for training. And uh, Jomo Kenyatta would come and open the seminars and do whatever. Without knowing that Jomo Kenyatta was a, a capitalist and Jaramogi was a, a socialist, so whatever they were being taught was they were being taught socialism and uh, one time Jomo would find that he, uh, he, he, he is powerless, Every, he, the whole party, I hope you understand that. So that is why it was decided that he be killed. And when he died, when he was killed, you'll find that a few months after he was killed, Jaramogi was off air. I can explain the two reasons why Jaramogi was off air. The first one, which is obvious to you and me, when your close friend dies, you you don't think right. You you stay aside, you relax until and you mourn. And the second thing was that was his think tank and he had to take time to assemble a new think tank. That is why he was killed. Now, how, uh, what were the me methodology of killing him? The first thing they did was, they were, you, I told you that uh, he's a he was a journalist, he was a trade unionist, and he was an activist. So there was a trade unionist from Western. Uh, I, I, uh, my neck top computer at times it's not cracking the name but there was a trade unionist from busia and being in the trade union with him they they, they usually not, did not agree on most of the things so a person who resembled this trade unionist was strategically placed near that place so that witnesses can say that the trade unionist was there when Gamma Pinto was killed. They went to prison and removed a petty criminal there. The petty criminal was placed. You see, Gamma Pinto's gate. Gamma Pinto's gate was uh, like any other gate. Kuna pandembili, left and right. So on one side, somebody who resembled the trade unionist, and on the other side, there was this petty criminal who had been removed from committee to be strategically be placed there. This fellow went, first of all, um, he was told that uh, if he does a good job, he'll be released from prison. And uh, when they were there, there was some shooting. Then he went to New Ruadia Bar, and as he was uh, watching the TV, he saw the compound that he was there, and he was told that Gamma Pinto had been shot. So he was shocked that the commotion that he had witnessed was Gamma Pinto being killed. This is what happened with the Gamma Pinto's last minutes on earth. There is a tendency that is there even today, whereby parents, especially fathers, when they are taking off, they carry their babies in the vehicle, uh, then go up to the gate. When they reach the gate, they open the, the, the doors. Then the maid follows them and picks the children and takes them back home. So, and, and you remember, at the gate of Gamma Pinto, on one side there was somebody who resembled a trade unionist from Busia, 
And on the other side, there was this petty criminal who was being placed there strategically so that he can be arrested and be, be charged with killing this person. And then gunmen came from nowhere, shot him. Uh, that is how uh, Gamma Pinto lost his life. And the system of, the, the, the characteristics of, of carrying your child all the way up to the gate is still there up to today. But, and it was there even during Gamma Pinto's time. And then when Gamma Pinto was shot, killed, uh, I think I have not mentioned that uh, Goans are Catholics. That is why you find a padre called Father de Souza and such a thing. So he, he, Gamma Pinto was shot, he died. He was uh, buried in City Park and uh, his family moved out of Kenya. They only come to visit Kenya. That was the first political assassination in Kenya. Thank you.